Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday the 12th of January, we're off to Leicester, the only turf meeting in the UK. On Wednesday, the ground, pretty decent as usual on the chase course, where we've got both of our bets. The hurdle course tends to be a lot more testing at the old flat course, so there's a big disparity. So Leicester, quite unique. Uh, wide is often the place to be, even when the ground is quite decent. It seems to be a much faster strip away from the rail. We start off with our value angle selection in the 250. This is the Potemps Network January Handicap Chase, two mile four. Class three for five-year-olds and upwards, £5,882 on offer. A disappointing field, it's cut up, but this looks a really good opportunity for 147. With Nigel Twist and Davis to win again. Now this 10-year-old needs decent ground to be seen at his best. He returned to top form at Stratford in October, narrowly beating Maka Paka from a mark of 120. That came after 166 days off, so he goes well fresh. It came on good ground over a furlong further than this trip. And if you watch the run back, he made a few mistakes under Zach Baker and did really well to win, showing a tenacious attitude to beat a couple of horses who've run well in defeat since. Um, he's pretty reliable. He went up a couple of pounds. He ended up getting beaten 30 lengths under Mr. Noah Bragg Carroll, who claims seven um, at Cheltenham. Next time out in a much stronger race over a longer trip, he probably didn't stay. I think he looked that day as though he was still in top form. He made a couple of errors, briefly got into it and then faded. 60 days to freshen, back on good ground. Right-handed, I think, will help him. He did jump that way when he won at Stratford. And let's say he's fresh, he's well, the yard's going well. Sam Twist and Davis's books, he seems sure to go close. If he can jump a little bit more fluently, I think he'll take a bit of beating. For our nap of the day, we go to the 320, the most valuable race on the card, the Potemps Network Mayor's listed chase, a valuable prize. This £18,500, class one for five-year-olds upwards over two miles, and this looks another gilt-edged opportunity for Nigel Twiston Davis with his prolific mare Zambella. She's a terrific advert for all concern. I think she's won eight times under rules in total now. Uh, she was a winner in France before. She's taken to chasing like a duck to water, to be truthful. She's a bold front runner who goes off from the front. She's won um, this race last year from Cut the Mustard on Ground that was probably soft enough for her, and she's been better than ever this season at Aintree where she routed the field. And then last time out of Doncaster, she'd won the race about halfway, jumping superbly over two mile four. She is back to two miles here, but I don't think it'll inconvenience her. I think she'll actually like this better ground. She does have to give away four pounds and upwards all round, but in truth, I don't think that'll make any great difference. She looks a class apart from these, and she can not win number three this winter. Best of luck on Wednesday, betting experts. Mm -hmm.